All right. So here we are looking at uh doing an unboxing on my uh Quest Q uh Takao from uh Aoki Hagane no arpeggio or or this is here arpeggio of blue steel Ars Nova you can read it Here's the box. Very nice box. In fact, I like this box so much, I'm just going to keep her in the box. It's cool. It has this little, um, the kind of like halo thing that goes around them. And this is uh, the mental model Takao. You can see here. He's a 1 8 scale figure sculpted by Taka. Or, uh, Como cow, and um, this is actually um, I think uh, this is part of one of the the cover arts I think uh, of uh, the manga. That's where it was based from. I think I've seen uh, like a poster of it too. It's uh, sold by um, Quest Q. I got uh, I bought this one from um, uh, was it HLJ Hobby Link Japan. I think it was for about sixty dollars, maybe sixty or eighty dollars, one of those. But uh, I'm pretty sure I don't think you can get them anymore for that price. They're they're probably sold out now until they do another run. But uh, this was a very popular figure. Ta Takao is a very popular um, popular character, and one of my f she's yes she is my favorite mental model. <laughs> And she's wearing the dress from uh, before she joined the fleet. See, there's the box art. It's kind of hard to see. Let's see if I get an angle here. Yeah, it's a lot of glare from the light, but very nice box art. It's kind of got a picture of the world in the background, close ups of the figure. And out here take a look at the box very nice box I'm definitely gonna keep her in the box um, she does have the the kind of plastic wrapping to protect her during shipping so uh, I'm just gonna, gonna take her out and remove that and this is like the blue dress version from the very beginning of the anime all right well let's take her out and uh, I think I purchased her about oof, last year, like quite a while ago. Uh, right when she came out, I, I got her. All right, so there's the box, just the box. And like I said, it's a very nice box, and I'm definitely going to keep her in it. She's even, it's even got like an ocean background. That's amazing. I love it. It's got a little pink halo around it with what looks like um, some kind of computer commands, like a computer codes. Very cool. And uh, I had no problem taking her out of the box. It actually has a little pull tab on top of the box on, on top of the plastics holding her so you can pull her out of the box right, this is one of the highest um, I would say high, highest grade figures I've had actually the box is kind of like dirty already I don't know what, what all this is alright let's get her out of there so it looks like oh there's even a little, a little window yeah, there's a little window so you can see her face. Awesome. And she has a base. So basically you get the base and you get Takao. 
Okay, she's free from her packaging. I've split it. No problems there. And she has this little plastic protective covering that's going to go kind of like wrapped around her hair. Her hair is uh, transparent. Noticed. It's pretty cool. Alright, so uh, let me just get her out of here. There she is. And she looks beautiful. So here's, let's start the stand. Uh, I'm not really sure what that stand is. What these symbols are. Uh, looks like, yeah, I have no clue. It goes from Delta 01 to Delta 09, and then Echo 01 to Echo 03. <laughs> I really have no clue when it. it's pink. The paint is very good. Very good paint. Like you, you can even see the little mole. She has a little mole. Kind of hard to see. Yes. You can see the mole on her cheek. having trouble focusing on her. She's got some crazy hair there. And it's transparent too. Look at that. It's very cool. I cannot find any flaws with it. If there's any flaws with it, it probably just happened during shipping, you know. Look at her fingernails. How detailed they are. can't find any flaws. Okay, well, well there's like a mold line up here, but it's very minor. She is in a kind of awkward pose. Let's get the whole... Fantastic. I mean, she's not she's not a cheap figure, but she wasn't she's not a very expensive figure either. I think for how much I paid for her, um, it's spectacular. I love it. Like I said, I can't find anything wrong with her. Anything. The, the attention to detail is is awesome. Um, yeah, let me put the camera down. Let me go look more carefully and see if I can find any flaws, but I have seen none. Okay, well, if, if you want to be really nitpicky, you can see some flaws, like some kind of molding or like, it's kind of like some kind of splatter on her hair here. Really hard to see with the camera, but... And there's some, uh... So, so, yeah, there's some behind her head too. Just, just a little. No, like I said, I, I'm being nit. If you want to be nitpicky, you know, it's just no big deal to me. Um, also, her little ribbon here has a little. Uh, it wasn't cut like perfectly or something. You can see kind of a little blotch there. Um, the paint. Oh yeah, her ears. There's a little bit of overspray of the of the blue on her ears. You can see on the top of her ears are blue, and now like both of them are like that. Other than that, she is spectacular. Okay. I'll get some better pictures. Base is awesome. She went on the base nicely. One, 
lot of beauty. Let's zoom out a little here. Oh, I didn't read her specs. <laughs> Let me go get the box and read her specs. So here's the box again. Spectacular box. She's a Takao class heavy cruiser. She's a name ship. So for she's a she's a, the name of the Takao class. Basically, she's the, like the very first one. He's at 203.79 meters. Her beam is 20.73 meters. Her draft is 9.32. Um, yeah, not really too familiar with ship measurements. Displacement is 13,460 tons. Mental model, Sinlecore G1, Atome with the Atome plugin. So. There you go, there's some technical jargon. <laughs> you can tell they really went all out on this. So so Quest Q uh Takao. Very good. Um this is my first Quest Q figure and I'm very impressed. Um if I can afford it, I will buy it. <laughs> I know Quest Q is awesome. the bottom shot. I apologize for my uh, ghetto studio here. That seems to be like the perfect shot right there. Alright, well I'll include some better pictures. She's def and uh, she'll be going back in the box. I tell a story. I tell a story. 